Yeah, welcome to Wild Watch on the Wild Rift Farlap Raceway. Isn't it great to be back at Timberoo Farlap Raceway on the Uber the Track on Sunday afternoon? The 11 race program, first starting at 12.20, and they have to be on early. Don't normally tip one in the amateur driver's race, but I tell you what, South Seas Rock might have found the right race. He's been competitive in some very good fields. I'm going to take you four starts ago where he got beaten by Helium. So he's in front this day. Uh, he was parked out the entire journey, and he worked forward. Finally grabbed the front at the top of the lane was a sitting duck and he gets beaten on the horse in the Lone Star Colours, Helium in the black late in the piece. Now, I thought his first up run the other day wasn't as bad as it looked because he hadn't had a run for quite a while. He'd been off the scene for two months. In this video, he drew nine. He's drawn nine on Sunday in an amateur driver's race and he's the highest rated horse in the race. I do think he can win. Good, uh, good amateur driver and Neil Munro takes the drive. Main danger off the edge and Dr Tim. Nice to see Michael House having a drive in race number one. Let's go to race number five. And the black booker that went to Addington last week was Carmelite. Gee, she was good. She was a long way back in a race winner's race. So she's a maiden. Here she is coming widest on the track where they just dawdled round. And she smoked home late in the piece. Now, she was the black booker. So the horse we're highlighting is the white blaze, a typical sweet Lou. Out wide, Crandall get his colours here. Now, her last half and quarter, she's run over 55-5, last quarter in 26-7 against the race winners. Now, she drops back into Maiden Company. I know it's start number 12, so she's had her chances uh, in previous starts, but she might have found the right race. To the second row is not a bad draw, and I was encouraged with that run. Main Danger, tipping out one at a bit of value here, and Tac Tina, out of a very good family, and I didn't mind her debut run. She might be one to put in for Mark Jones, uh, runner number 12. Now, later on in the programme, I'm going to have a look at a horse uh, that is a black booker in the form of high intensity. I thought it's run an Omaru last up. was pretty good. It's in the red colours here. Uh, Brent Barclay driving. Only having start number two this day. And it wasn't a bad run. So just note it running through the middle, getting held up, having to flick back to the inside. You end up running fourth behind Sassy Star. Now, this race should be dominated by Moses. He's a very good horse. He had one start, one win. He'll be very short. But I don't mind this fully by Creatine. She's a half to a stablemate streaming live. Her debut win was really strong. Matthew Williamson takes the drive. She ran him at 58-1 in that video. Quite a smart last half for a trotter. And I just think she's on the up and up. She may have some fillies races targeted later in her career. Race six, number one, high intensity. Obviously, Moses is going to be short the main danger. And the other three-year-old in crown the moment. Let's have another three highlight for you on Whale Watch on Sunday. Multimakers race one, nine, South Seas Rock. He can be a bit of a trick. He's a, uh, not the easiest horse to drive. But if you get him off the gate and get him to settle, he's a horse to beat. Drop back horse race five, 11, Carmelite. Very much depend on what fixed odds they open up on Saturday. Saturday at four o'clock. I think she's an each way bit at the right price. And the Black Booker's race six number one, high intensity.